Well, we have a little bit of snow. We woke up to scattered coatings to two inches across Massachusetts, so that's exciting. And much of the Northeast had a little bit of snow from that clipper system. As advertised, it quickly moved through, and it was long gone by this morning. But maybe if your car sat outside overnight, you notice that little coating of snow. Sterling had one and a half inches, Methuen reporting one, and Shrewsbury just half an inch of snow. The roads were just fine this morning, so no big issues in that sense. And we still have some snow showers showing up on first alert live radar. This is a result of some upslope snow where we have a northwesterly westerly wind up in the mountains. We have enough lift and instability and so snow showers are lingering across parts of Vermont, New Hampshire. Great news for ski country. Plus we have some lake effect snow streamers reaching all the way across upstate New York into southwestern parts of Massachusetts, but not so much for Boston. Right now we're dry. Outer Cape Cod though, we've seen some ocean effect develop off of Cape Cod Bay and that has rolled your way, although more of a mix as temperatures are just above freezing. The big picture shows our next storm system lining up across the Midwest that passes to our south for tomorrow morning brings us some quick coatings of accumulation. In the meantime, the wind is just really, really high out there. 37 mile per hour gusts, 40 in Beverly, 53 in Nantucket. And um, over the next couple of hours, we keep the wind around by about three o'clock, though, subsiding just a touch to about 20 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts overnight tonight, relatively calm. But it feels like the 20s and the teens because of the wind speeds on top of our temps in the 30s. 35 for Boston, 40 Chatham. That's why you have more of a wintry mix spinning from the clouds there. 31 degrees across Keene, some 20s up north in Concord. For today, tonight, tomorrow, tonight, we still have icy cold conditions as temps drop to below 32. To tomorrow, early flurries to the south and 37. Here's our storm system. It remains way off the coastline, but around sunrise tomorrow, we see a little quick chance for scattered coatings along the south coast, the Cape and the islands. Then by late in the afternoon and early evening, 515, we have a line of some snow squalls pushing in. Again, another scattered coating to two inches may be likely as those snow showers move through. They're quick hitting and some gusty winds and low visibility will be likely with those two. Saturday evening. Then by Sunday, we have some snow showers again developing. So overall, in terms of how much snow we expect, with those squalls on Saturday, it's going to be isolated. Majority of us will see just some scattered coatings for Saturday morning up north ski country. Saturday into Sunday, two to four inches of snow from snow showers that linger because of another clipper system passing by Sunday night. As it does, it brings us those snow showers and into early Monday too, but mainly up north, which sets you up for a beautiful Beautiful weekend for ski country and winter sports enthusiasts. Northern New England getting a fantastic forecast in that sense. And snowmaking weather continues too through the holiday weekend. President's Day on Monday, 38 degrees. School vacation week, not too bad. And a little warm up, 40s by Wednesday.